In today's video, we are taking advantage of the accessibility feature which is built into Microsoft and try to bypass the login screen and gain access to my computer. To be able to do this, first I want you to hold on the shift key and restart your computer. So remember, this is only helpful if you're using a local account in your computer. If you're using a Microsoft account, this is not going to be possible. Now here, you're going to select Troubleshoot. After you've selected that option, you're also going to select the advanced options and select the command line user interface. Once the command line user interface loads up, you're going to try and find the Windows directory. Now, this can be at various drive letters, so you have to try every single drive letter that you can think of to figure out whether the Windows operating system is in that drive letter. So in my case, I'm going to try the C drive. And as you can see, I cannot find the Windows operating system in that drive letter. So suppose I try drive letter D and type in DIR, you can see the drive letter contains the Windows operating system. Now, when you find that directory has the Windows operating system, you are going to navigate to that directory by typing the CD command, CD for change directory. So I'm going to type here CD Windows and then I'm going to also type in CD system32. So once you are in system32, there are commands that you are going to use here. The first one is to rename the util man to something else so that you back it up. So what I'm going to type here is rename utilman.exe to utilman1.exe. And then after that, I'm also going to type in, after I hit enter, I'm going to rename, so type here, rename, cmd.exe to utilman.exe. That way, when you call the utilman, it is going to execute the cmd instead. So hit enter on this, and then you're going to restart your computer. If this doesn't work, you can also try restarting your computer again so that the system loads up the, the entire system. So continue to Microsoft 11, Windows 11. So once you're in Windows, you're going to click on the Accessibility tab. When you click on that, you're going to see the CMD is going to pop up. Now here in the CMD is, go, is where you're going to do the trick so that you can be able to change the password of a local account to be able to log into your computer. So here, the first thing that you're going to type is control user passwords too. So type it down with me. Type control user passwords too. Make sure the user password Make sure the user passwords is one word. This is going to load the user account. In this pop-up, you have two accounts. Down here, as you can see, you can be able to reset your password. If this is grayed out, you cannot be able to change. That means this is a Microsoft account and you cannot be able to change that password using this method. Now, once you click that, you can see this is the prompt that is going to allow you to enter any password. You can also leave it blank and hit OK so that the account does not have a password. Now, you can hit OK and then close everything else and go on to your log logging into your computer. Now, if you close the CMD, you can be able to log into your computer.